Hello, folks, and welcome back to Four Corners of the Galley Throwback Movie Reviews. On this edition, we're doing Blade Runner, yeah, the original. The original. With the sequel coming out, Blade Runner 2049, we wanted to go back and check out the original version. I've seen it a couple times. It's been a while since I've seen it. And I've seen the very first time. So, this was a good experience. So, without further ado, let's kick it off. So, uh, what do you think about the movie, Blade Runner? Weird. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like, but, very weird. But you gotta remember, it was also built in, 90, in 1982, which, you know, was a long time ago, even though Star Wars was around at that point. Yeah, there was already, like, there was already weird movies, and there was already, like, normal movies, but just shows to pick a weird path. It was a very unique, weird movie. It's about a futuristic uh, Los Angeles in the future, 2019, as it calls it, in a couple of years from now. Mm -hmm. And basically, you know, we live in a world where there's uh, replicants. Yeah, uh, uh, it would be like androids. People yeah. But they look like humans. Yeah. They look like humans and they have skin like humans, but in reality, they're robots. Yeah, they're stronger than us, but uh, they have no emotions, so that's how you tell the difference. Yeah, they have this very unique and weird test they give them that determines if they're a replicant or not. It's a very unique visual movie. And for its time, visually, it's amazing. It, I don't I don't know if it holds up to the standards of nowadays. It, it loses a lot in the translation. I mean, I, I do think it's a good movie, but it is very slow paced, and you have to... Pay attention. Pay attention. Because, you some, because the movie takes some weird turns, and then it, it sometimes you don't know what's going on. Yeah. And then it gets even weirder. <laughs> like, but... The final act of the movie I thought was amazing. Yeah, I think the, the last 30 minutes of the movie are just phenomenal. Yeah, I think that's what carries the movie at the very end. Yeah, it's got this great chase scene, and then it really gets, it really finally starts digging deep into the story, and you start to learn more, and they don't, they're not playing this like hide and seek mysterious game and messing with you, and it really gets deep. It does have some great acting. You got a young Harrison Ford in this, and some uh, weird acting. You got, you got a young Edward James Olmos. You got a young Daryl Hannah. You got a young Sean Young. I mean, it's got some good acting in the movie, but it definitely is very unique and weird. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it's a visual trippy movie. It's really Scott's one of his first movies, and it's it's, it's done beautifully. It, I don't know if it holds up. It's gone through a ton of cuts. They've cut this movie up like crazy, so that's a little weird. We watched the final cut, which is like the main cut that they want you to see nowadays. But there are a lot of scenes where the sound, like you're trying to listen for them talking in the background, and it just playing this ominous music over it, and it kind of like muffles out the sound. They want you to hear the story, but not really. It's it, it's unique. Yeah, it's not really a story movie. It's more of a visual movie. It's so definitely you just a watch it, and it's like, oh, this movie looks pretty, but this movie makes no sense at the same time. <laughs> I definitely feel like you could see this movie in newer versions in different ways. Where I Robot with Will Smith, yeah, is kind of based a little bit off of this, and that's more androids, but they don't look like humans, but still the same concept. Fifth Element kind of takes from it, from the visual aspect, and really enhances on the world and the flying cars and things like that. All those movies, though, have good storylines. Yeah, aren't weird, they though. do. They do. And for <laughs> its time, I mean, I, it doesn't hold to me, Terminator, Aliens, Star Wars. All those movies that came out in that area. Yeah, all sci-fi, fantasy, horror movies that are just way better than... This is, it's, but... It had potential. It has potential. It does. It definitely does. I think Harrison uh, Obviously, Ford they made a sequel off. Yeah, of Her but uh, they waited a long time. But Harrison Ford is extremely good in this movie. A uh, young Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm. he, he was really good in this movie. I liked him a lot. I thought Sean Young was good, where she's playing the young, confused girl. That She was a cool in that role. I mean, it, it's definitely a visual, unique experience. Be it's not a long movie. It's two hours. But be prepared to have to really be patient with the movie and wait for it to build for you. Because, I mean, it really doesn't build It doesn't go anywhere, and then when it does go somewhere, it's weird. When it, it still goes. leaves a lot of mystery and, yeah. and doubt at the end. But it, it really doesn't build to like an hour and 20 into the movie where it finally builds. So what would be your overall score out of five? Out of five, I'm going to give it three. Three out of five. I give it a 3.2. I, I still, I think it's still good. Um, I, I enjoy the movie a lot. It's it's still a visual great movie. The sound is crazy. The, the, to see what they thought the world would look like nowadays is a trip. Uh, we're excited to go see 2049. Yeah, so. which I heard is very good. And visual also, so we're excited. And they have a good storyline. Yeah. That's so. not weird. <laughs> or it makes sense at least. It's updated. We do get to... Get like, like, grumpy Harrison Ford. Yeah. So that'll be fun in his old days. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Yep, so, definitely, I would suggest you guys check it out because it is... A visual experience. At least watch it once. Yeah, for the and never again. <laughs> this is a weird movie, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'll watch it again. Maybe the last part. The last part was pretty good. 
Well, there you have it, folks. But maybe 24 9 I watch a lot. There you go. Expect a review on that. All right. Well, Four I'm Corners Pino. Galley at YouTube.com. Dot YouTube. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's all. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this Blade Runner throwback movie review. Good night, Ted. See you next time. <laughs> Thank you for watching Four Corners of the Galley. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Um, outro. You tell them everything, crap? You saying everything? Yeah. You sure? Yes. Oh. Uh, uh, you sure? I don't oh know. my what god. What are you guys talking about? Get out of here. Can I join the conversation? Oh yeah, she's trying to, trying to do a video, but I don't know if she said everything. Can you get out? Hey, listen. Did you say to like, comment, yeah, subscribe, yeah. and share? Yeah. Yes. Did you sure. say thank you for watching? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, bye. Get out. Uh,